right, so Joel and I are on a bit of a treasure hunt this morning. We launched at Bayou Lacombe on the north shore of Lake Pontchartrain, beat the sunrise. And we've come out onto a very, very calm Lake Pontchartrain looking for redfish. We've gotten reports that they've been schooling along this north shore just about 30 miles, 40 miles or so to the southwest. The Bonacary Spillway is open, dumping Mississippi River water into Lake Pontchartrain, so it's kind of pushed these redfish along this North Shore area. Now, from what I understand, they're difficult to find, but once you find them, you can sink the boat. So we're just coming in blind, just really looking for schools of fish. Hopefully, with as calm as it is, we'll be able to see them. We just poked our nose out of Bayou Lacombe, saw something that looked like it could be a school of red. So we're gonna go investigate now and see if we can catch anything. So I see something over there, Joel. You see that? That could be the fish. Yep. Keep your eyes peeled. You see? See what I'm seeing? Right there? Yep. I mean, it looks like bait, but it could like be. Mullet. It really looks like rain minnows, to be honest. But let's see. We'll know in a minute. Definitely some kind of bait. What are you throwing? No, one of us needs to jig. Do you have that tied up? You don't have any jigs tied up? No matrix? Well, why don't you tie one on? Yeah, but we need to get under this bait. Something needs to get under this bait. That's where the reds are gonna be. This wind's out of the north, so we got protection up here. Look at all this bait. My goodness. Sunrise. What is this? All kinds Dude, of all kinds of bait. If there's not redfish here, there should be. I'm gonna give you a couple casts with that. If you don't do anything, we're gonna we're gonna move east. Needle in a haystack. Just gotta find the fish. They're up here somewhere. Man, they just have to swim with their mouths open, huh? This is incredible actually makes it tough because with all the bait nothing to really nothing to really zero in on this episode of marshman mass on brought to you by pugley sporting goods i told joel heading out here i would not be surprised if we end this day with zero redfish and i would not be surprised if we ended with 10 in the box it could go either way <laughs> just kind of one of those things you just have to find them well obviously whatever all this is it's not redfish I think it's a mullet. Let's get up, fish this shoreline at this point. How deep are we? Okay. Let me make sure we don't get in trouble. Didn't bring my H and H push pole. I think there's another canal between. I'm gonna have to look on that depth finder. Another canal between Lacombe and Liberty. We can hit the mouth of that. You ready? This water's just stunning. This is sight fishable water if this wind, I mean, if the sun was up. Ooh, what was that? Ooh, dude, I got smoked. Throw over here, Joel. So let's go poke our nose over there and see what we see. And then uh, if we don't see anything, yeah, we can go run down. Dude, this water is freaking gorgeous. I mean, this is just beautiful. Yeah, it's a little crowded. Dude's catching them off the bank. Got him, Joel. Way to break the ice, Joel. Glad one of us can catch him. He's not big. He's not big. Oh, there's another one. There's one. That's a decent fish. Damn, 
He got bigger. He grew on you. That's definitely a keeper. Definitely a keeper. Look how white this fish is. Look at this. The what? I went out to the gulf. Dude, he felt insulted. You said he wasn't big. So different than the fish we catch in Delacro, color wise. Yeah. These look like giant croakers. Man, Brad, you need a net? No, I don't think that's one. Probably the biggest we catch today. Yeah, that's a big, that's a big red. You gonna flip him? You want me to grab him? Put him in the box. I guess he must have been swimming with you initially. Yeah. Get him, Joel. Good job. Rubber stamp? What you think? He's, he's a keeper, but he's not as big, he's as, not as, big as the last one. <laughs> he's better than you thought, but no, he's not as big as the last one. He's more like the one I just caught. Pretty, pretty, pretty fish. Oh, shit. Miss mine. Did he hit you early on in you cast? Yes. Yeah, he did. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I think we we're on the outer That's edge. Both of them are like that. Yeah, I think the school is just kind of moving all through here. I just got to wait for it to get where you are. Before I'm throwing over here. There he is. Not big, not big at all. Oh, flounder. Look at that. <laughs> I got lucky with him. Man, I'm just lucky, believe me. <laughs> what you got, Joel? You sure about that? <laughs> sure you didn't hook a rock? About time you hook one. I got tired of seeing you set the hook. Looks like it might be more like the first than the second, huh? No. You got the drag loose? Yeah, I got the drag loose. What pound test you fishing? 15. He's not big. But he'll keep, I think. He's not in the boat yet. I'm giving you a track record with line popping. There we go. Got him in. Yeah, I'm on the clock now. There he is. No way. Boy, is that a small one. <laughs> Heard that my whole life. Yeah, he's small. Trust me. Nope. This episode of Marshman Masson brought to you by Matrix Shad, and by Fitzgerald Fishing, and by Cito New Orleans, and by Versamax Quartz, and by Death Grip Jig Heads. Oh, oh my God. Some little fish. You missed another? Yeah, that's a little fish. Alright, so I just broke off through a little too close to those rocks, but these fish are really running right along these rocks. But what I'm throwing today is a 3 8 ounce Death Grip Jig Head teamed with a Tiger Bait Matrix Shad. Water clarity is just okay, it's not the best. Probably about six inches of visibility. Could be a whole lot better. This bait works well in this color water. All right, so my knot on the terminal end is an improved clinch. Very, very quick, very easy to tie. Especially if you don't hook yourself. Now, as you know, I fish everything with a fluorocarbon leader and I got it tied to my main braid with a shins knot. It's my standard go-to, never fails me. Yeah, I mean, like, 
his bag. No, no, he's, he's, he's a keeper. If I get him in, he's a jumping redfish. He's a jumper. You got one? Yeah. Double jewel? Oh, shoot. Yeah, he's a keeper. Perfect eater. Perfecto. Watch that, watch that rod. Oh yeah, that's a good keeper. Perfect eater. He's not hooked. <laughs> you what were right. He's not hooked. Ah, <laughs> oh, sucker. I had a bite. A little one, little one. A little, little. He's fighting hard. He's trying his best to grow. Nope. No shot or just I'd say no shot. What about you? Uh, Wouldn't you agree? I don't need to measure him, huh? No, I don't need to measure him. Good fish? Yeah. Maybe the school hasn't moved. Hey, you weren't all that close to the rocks on that one, huh? You were a good bit into your cast, weren't you? Yeah. Try not to lose this one, Joel. Can you net him for me? I ain't getting that net out. I mean, is he a giant? No, I don't think he's... He's probably like 19, 20. Yeah, no reason to net him. I can grab him if you want. File hooked. He may not even be a keeper. No, I yeah, I think he might be a keeper. You have to put him on the tape. I think he stays on. Sometimes the jig that goes the wrong way and they get off. Put him on. Put him on. Nah. Put him on the tape though. I'm gonna get in trouble here. He's a keeper. Put him in the box. You are freaking. You are killing me. You know why? You're fishing a lot faster than I am. Yeah, I'm out here. Come on, this better be a keeper. I don't know, dude. He's not feeling good. He's not feeling good. Come on, Joel. Catch a keeper. No, that's a definitely a keeper. It's a 20 inch fish. Yeah, he's 16. Man, look at that. Look at that. You got him in the boat. So what we're fishing is the mouth of Lakeshore Estates, and these fish are scattered all across this north shore of Lake Pontchartrain at all these little cuts, particularly on falling tides. And Joel and I started the day trying to find fish just along that shoreline. They've been running in big schools out there. We didn't see any yet, but I think we might on our way back to Bayou Lacombe, which is where we launched. Really nice day today. Just a slight northerly breeze. Great time to fish the North Shore Lake Pontchartrain. Now, if you come out here, you're probably going to have to deal with some boat pressure. There's going to be anglers fishing all around you. If that's okay, just make friends with everybody around you. Be courteous and plenty enough fish for everybody. You want to stack the odds way in your favor, bring live shrimp. Fish them on a Carolina rig or a drop shot. Not really my style, but believe me, it's very effective fishing like this. There he is. There he is. That's a good fish, Joel. Oh. He's not that good, but he's about a 20, 22. He's an eater. They definitely run the gamut in here. Yeah, this fish is about 22 inches. Yeah. I think, how many throwbacks have we caught? Two? Three? Maybe just two. Because that one you thought was a throwback was a keeper. All right, that's a wrap. Quick trip close to home. Excellent action on a keeper redfish. I think we may have caught two or three throwbacks. Everything else was right in that slot zone. Perfect eaters. Doesn't get much better than that. We had maybe a 15 minute tow to launch the boat. Nice and quick and easy, just the way you like it. Well, hopefully you enjoyed the video, got something out of it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Also subscribe to the Marshman Mass on YouTube. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so you'll be notified whenever we post a new video. And until next time, if we don't see you in the marsh, we'll see you right here at Marshman Mass on.